today's practice, we are going to emphasize heart openings. So this will be a chance to stretch through the chest muscles, upper back, and shoulders. I am going to use a block. So if you have something like that, a large book or something that you can um, just make the earth come a little closer. A chair is also a great option here for the times that we're going to use that. Just something to give you a little extra support. And I'm also going to use a blanket, which you could um, find a small pillow. We are going to practice restorative fish at the end. So it's nice to just have a little extra layer of support, um, a rolled up sweatshirt, lots of things. Feel free to get creative. Just something nice and soft. It's not too big that we can put underneath um, our upper back. So we're actually going to start lying down. So whenever you're ready, grab your props, make your way to the floor and um, get comfortable. So if you have some real good music you want to turn on, go right ahead and do that. And as you start to settle into the mat, if you're more comfortable with the legs bent or creating support underneath the knees or anything, feel free to practice in that manner as well. If you're good with closing your eyes, we're just going to start to tune into the breath. And if we're able to manipulate it a little bit, focus on taking those three part breaths, meaning we breathe deeply into our belly. We let that go into the chest and the ribs and way up into the shoulders finally. And then we breathe out in the opposite direction, releasing through the chest and shoulders, the ribs, and finally the belly. So see if you can just find that breath sequence a few times, using all the parts of our body that are meant to help us take in deep breaths, getting in lots of oxygen. One more big breath here. And then we'll make our way into some windshield wipers. So I'm going to fold my knees in, feet are flat on the floor, and I'm just gonna walk the feet a little wider Sometimes that's more comfortable. And we'll let the knees just gently fall to one side. We'll bring them back together and let them fall to the other. So this might be a small movement for you. As we start to test the water, see how we're feeling in the low back and hips. If you need to slide something under your low back, feel free to do so. It's always nice to think about synchronizing movement with the breath. So I like to think about inhaling as we let the knees fall. Exhaling as we use those abdominal muscles to come back to center. And then if you want to create a little bit of extra abdominal work, what we'll do is bring the feet off the mat. You could keep the toes down, trying to bring little to no weight into the toes and find those drops there. Or you can bring the shins so they're parallel to the floor and do just some little knee drops here. You'll notice as we engage that core, our knees will want to draw in closer to the chest. So just trying to keep them aligned over the hips. And we'll just practice a couple more times on each side. And then what we're going to do is finish to whichever side you would like. I'm going to finish to my right and we'll roll onto that side and then press up, just kind of that awkward transition into our all fours position. So as you come into all fours, go ahead and make adjustments to protect your wrists if you need to. We'll align our shoulders right over our hands, our hips are over our knees, and we'll make our way into our cat-cow flow, finding length and space in the spine. Again, perhaps inhaling on our cow, exhaling on our cat, those abdominals in. Finishing with a cow and then walking the hands forward a little bit, lowering to the belly, trying to lower with control. We're going to make our way into some baby cobra push ups. So, little to no weight in the hands. We we'll bring the hands up by the shoulders, and as we inhale, we Use those muscles in the back, keeping the tailbone tucked down, to just gently lift and gently lower. 
Your head can come to rest on the mat or you can keep it slightly elevated. But again, we'll inhale as we lift, exhale as we lower. Moving with your breath. And we'll meet the next time we're in that baby cobra pose, holding here for just a couple of breaths. And then lowering down, now actively pressing the hands into the mat so we can come up and melt back, making our way into our first child's pose, just kind of countering that stretch. See how we're feeling here? We want to walk away one set of fingers and then the other, deepening the stretch through the shoulders and the underarms. That can feel nice. And with an inhale, we'll come to that all fours position. And if you have your props and want to use them to help you make your way to a standing position, it's nice to kind of start in forward fold, test the waters here, edging at the hips so melting the knees so that we can invite the rib cage to come to the thighs. And then on our inhale, we'll make our way to standing. Arms can sweep up if that feels good. And we'll go ahead and bring the hands together overhead, letting the gaze follow those hands. As we exhale, we'll fold the hands into the heart, letting the gaze follow. Inhale as we press up. So some days we might feel a little tight through those shoulders and we might notice our hands are a little further in front. It's totally fine. Embracing what our bodies are able to do today. We'll do one more of these. Lower that down. And then stepping toward the long edge of our mat. We're going to spread our feet wide and just flow through some moonflower, sunflowers, your choice. We lift on our inhale, coming into a five-pointed star. On our exhale, we can bend the knees, draw the elbows together, and then inhale up to our moonflowers. You always have the option of just arms or just legs. And if we prefer to try sunflowers or want to add a few into the mix, as we bend the knees, we hinge at the hips, just like our forward fold. Let the hands sweep. Spine stays long in both poses. We're just continuing to find energy and space in those arms and legs. Big sweeping breaths. And we'll be at the top. Maybe adding a little heart opener here. Probably won't be very visible on camera, but just letting the fingertips reach back gently and feel a little expansion through your chest. Breathing there, seeing how that feels to find that space. And then we'll fold the hands together overhead, exhale them into the heart. From here, turning to one edge of your mat, doesn't matter which one, I am going to turn towards my left so my left knee is now bent, and my right leg is long, coming into a lunge. So if you like that back heel, nice and grounded, it's gonna be a little shorter stance, perfectly fine. You wanna take it a little deeper. You can let that heel lift, just always protecting the front knee, keeping it above or behind the ankle. So start with some goddess arms here. So elbows come to about 90 degrees, and we allow the chest and the heart to just kind of open as we draw Cross the body here. Grounding into our feet, noticing our breath, and then allowing this to become eagle arms. So as I have my left knee bent, I'm going to let my left arm come underneath first. Right arm reaches below, and perhaps we're just meeting with the back of the hands. Maybe they fold around. And if it feels okay in your body, We'll gently lift the fingertips to the sky, getting a nice stretch across the upper back and the shoulders. And we'll release the arms coming into a warrior two. So back toes point toward that long edge of the mat. 
lift the shoulders slightly, and then let them melt down so we find that sense of relaxation. So here's where we might want to use those props. If they're not close, you can grab them. We're going to find length and space through that front knee so it becomes straighter. Both knees still have at least a micro bend in them, so they're protected. And we lead with that front hip, so this will be my left hip, and make our way into triangle. If you don't have any props, you can always just rest on your front leg. If you'd like to use the block, there's a lot of different ways you can adjust it. And if you just have a chair, perfectly fine too. Just kind of use it to support your hand. So up to you here. We want to find a long spine. We want to think about keeping our top shoulder open. So if it feels good for you to bring that top arm to the sky, that will help you draw that shoulder open. If you notice yourself collapsing down, you're going to just come up slightly so we get that open space in the back. And then we're going to simply reverse this. And what I mean by that is we'll lift up, let the back hand drop, and the front arm reach forward. So a reverse triangle. And then we find a flow that works here. So maybe moving with the breath, our inhale, we come into triangle. Our exhale, we lift back up to reverse triangle. Maybe we hold for a few breaths in one of the poses. Maybe we just stay in one because it feels really nice today. We'll meet in our triangle and then it would be nice to use a prop here as we revolve but again if you don't have one you can just bring your hand to your leg so we're going to bring that top hand to our prop or our support and allow our body to first turn toward our leg and then if it feels okay we'll twist toward the back of the room your back hand can rest it can reach kind of get to decide what feels good here revolve triangle Nice way to stretch the back of the legs. Knees are still soft. Still finding the breath. And then we'll bring that back down. Make our way to traditional triangle. Lift as we come back to center. And then if you want to heel toe your feet in a little, make adjustments that you need to, we'll move back through our moonflower or sunflower flow. Maybe noticing here we feel a little different from one side to the other because we've already done our work series there. Option to add our heart opener as we meet at the top. So tailbone stays tucked down, not really moving in the low back here, letting our movement come into our heart. And then if the arms have come back, We'll fold them overhead, melt them into our heart, and find that inhale up. Exhale as we draw the hands back. We'll do that one more time. And then we're going to switch sides for our work series. So if you'd like to swing your props over to the other side of your mat, you can. You can face the same direction if that feels good for you. Just remember you want to do the opposite leg. So we're going to turn to lunge the right knee forward, left leg back. Option to stay a little higher, back foot planted, or we can sink a little deeper into it if it feels okay. Just check in with that front knee. Finding stability, making our way into some goddess arms again. Anytime we hold, it's a great chance to tune back into the breath. As we work, our breath will get shallower, and we need as we try to hold it when we get in poses that feel uh, a little challenging. So bringing that awareness and coming into eagle arms. So this time, right elbow comes in front, left wraps underneath, and then as you find positioning, you can choose to lift through those fingers. Get a little more space. We're going to release those arms out. 
open into that warrior two. So back toes are pointed towards the long edge. Front knee draws toward the pinky toe. Bring the arms wide, lift the shoulders up, melt them down. Just pausing here for a moment or two. And then when you're ready, we find space through that front knee. Check that both are soft. And lead with the front hip as we come into triangle on this side. Might feel totally different if you want to grab those props. Check in with the lower part of our body, see what's grounded with the earth, and then we can choose what we want to do with that top arm. It can rest, it can reach, it can come behind the low back. Lots of options, and again, remembering we always have the choice to just maybe use like a chair. And then with control, we lift up here, make our way into that reverse triangle. So our left hand drops back, our right arm reaches tall. And then flowing between those two poses at whatever pace feels good for you. Again, meeting in our triangle. And we'll come into that revolve triangle if it feels okay. So letting the upper body turn toward the floor, using the left hand on our prop now, if we're choosing to do so. And then we revolve toward the back. Our right arm can rest, it can reach. And then we release that down, make our way back to triangle one more time. And then inhale as we lift tall, perhaps heel toeing our way back in, moving through the moonflower sunflower flow. So remember, as we move through those joints, popping is fine, pain is not, just recognizing there's a difference between the two. We'll meet in our five-pointed star, option to add a little heart opener. We'll let the hands melt down, walk our feet back in, making our way to balance. So if you have a different pose you'd like to practice, feel free to do so. I'm going to cue angel. So I'm gonna start with my left foot anchored into the ground, trying to stay really active through the whole left leg. Knee is soft, but the muscles all along the leg are active and engaged. Letting the right foot come back, just as far as I feel comfortable, knowing I could keep those toes on the ground if I wanted. And a chair is a great place to find a little extra support. And then as you find yourself nice and stable there, check that we're keeping shoulders over hips and you can come with the arms wide at the bottom or we can reach them tall or we can allow them to simply rest, maybe drawing them into the heart, a little extra awareness there. With an exhale, we'll bring that foot down, shake things out a bit, ground into our right foot, engage that right leg, and invite the left heel to reach away from the body. Toes can stay down. Arms can open or expand. Exhale as we release that. From here, we're going to make our way to the floor. So have your blanket or pillow close by. And we're also going to work our way through a little chest expansion. I'm going to slide my chair out of the way just to make sure it doesn't get um, hit. So coming into a nice tall mountain, anchoring into the feet. We're going to sweep those arms up again. Take full breath. Exhale as we fold the hands into the heart. And 
coming into some chest expansion. So perhaps today that just means we let the hands touch each other. We can reach for opposite elbows or we can interlace the fingers, kind of test the waters. Notice your shoulders here. So as our shoulders want to try to hunch, try to keep that relaxation moving through those shoulder blades. So we can start to lengthen through the arms, check that the elbows don't lock on us. And then notice in your shoulders that you're really drawn in. See if we can melt them down. Finding our chest expansion. And we also have the option here of hinging forward. So as we come into forward fold, we notice the hands may start to lift toward the sky. Totally fine, but again, checking that we're relaxing through those shoulder blades. And then wherever we are, whether we're standing or folded, we'll go ahead and come into forward fold. Let the arms hang heavy and shake the head out a little bit. Notice if we've got any tension there that we can let go of. And then make our way to all fours. And we're going to move back into our cat and our cow. We'll just hold them. Um, we'll do twice on each side, or twice of each pose because we're going to take the option of finding our sunbird leg. So another gentle heart opener. So as we come into our cat pose, if you would like, you can bring your right knee in towards your nose. Squeeze those abdominals to find that engagement. Elbows are soft. And then as we make our way into our cow, we keep the knee bent. We press the heel to the sky and we invite the heart to come forward. And then we'll lower all of that back to a neutral spine. And then back into our cat pose, option to draw the left knee into the nose. And then as you make your way to cow, bringing the left knee, pressing the heel to the sky, option to bring the heart forward. And again, back to a neutral spine. So we're going to sweep our feet around, make our way up into that restorative fish, which you could choose to stay in for Shavasana. This will be either our last pose, or you could go ahead and switch to a different pose um, for Shavasana. I like to just kind of roll it up nice and tight. And we'll let the lower body really feel heavy here. And bring it right behind your sternum or your breastbone. And then just gently lower back. If you need to support the head to let it release down, you can. You could also prop your head up on a um, book or a block, something simple. And this is just a chance to really invite space through the heart center to relax the shoulders. A lot of us have a lot of um, forward flexion going in those shoulders right now. So this is a good chance to open them up, let gravity gently melt them down. So see if you can imagine that your heart center is the highest point. Let everything release. If it feels okay, palms face the sky. And we just tune into the breath here. So if this doesn't feel great in your body, go ahead and find a different pose if you would like. Or feel free to stay here. Closing the eyes. And taking a moment to just envision what is the happiest place on earth for you. And allow yourself to go there. Take a little trip. And start to engage the senses. So notice what you see when you're here. What does it look like? Are there people? Are there colors? Are there buildings? What does the nature look like there? Notice what you smell. And think about what you hear. The big, obvious noises, as well as the small ones.
maybe you have certain tastes or flavors or foods that you associate with this place as well. And then feel free to press pause, to spend as long as you would like here in relaxation, or if you are ready to finish your practice. If you are on a prop still, you can simply roll to one side, and press up, coming back into a seated position. So as we finish our practice, it's always nice to just kind of acknowledge how we're feeling now, how we feel in this moment. Notice the power of the breath as it works through the body. We'll roll the shoulders up and back a few times. And then when you're ready, folding the hands into the heart and closing our practice with a namaste. Stay healthy, stay well.